So you join me tonight on the bank, literally for probably two hours tops. I want to show you guys how instant these new high oil pellets are. Obviously you don't get them in these bags, you get them in posh bags. So I've turned up at the lake, I've put a handful in. Now what I would say with the high oils, because of the oil content, what you will do is if you just throw them out the bag, you will get a couple that will float. Um, the only way around that is just to sort of soak them up a little bit, maybe you know, a bit of glug or something. If you're gonna put them in a PVA bag, it's actually quite good. Um, when you think that breaks down, you've got a couple, especially with the, the micros, the solid bag, you've got a nice pile of pellet, but you've also got a couple that will be floating up and then they'll sink and they'll float up and sink and it will draw the carp in, definitely draw the carp in. So yeah, I've turned up at the lake, just jumped into a swim closest to the car park to be honest, because I'm feeling lazy. I've put a handful of the pellet in and I've got them bubbling already. Literally, I've probably been here five minutes. I've put a just brought the kid to the kit to the swim, minimal kit. I'm not even using alarms tonight. I'm just going to put the rods on the deck and hopefully watch them go flying around. Just put a bit of bait in the edge. Uh, I do like fishing the edge. Um, got them bubbling down there already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip a rod on there, and who knows? Maybe I'll get a fish really quickly. Yeah, I've been here about five minutes. Well, five minutes. I've put the bait in anyway. So they're definitely switching onto it, which is a, a really good sign. So hopefully I'll give you an update shortly. Put a carp in the in the net. Chickened out. I chickened out with the uh, rods on the floor. <laughs> I just had a liner that literally almost dragged the rod in. It wouldn't even taken the bait. It was a liner, obviously where they're coming in for those pellets. So the alarms have come out. It's not quite how I would normally fish with the rod, but all the way back here. But I don't want to be losing the rod. So and again, I'm just fishing at the end of the platform. So. But um. <laughs> there we go, guys. I don't know if you saw that take, it was pretty epic. Not a big one, the biggest fish in the lake, but a lovely comment. Slip it back, put some more pellet in, see if we can get another one. Lovely. Just gonna take the time now, I've put the rod back out over top of the pellet. You know, it is, it's doing really well, so I'm quite happy with it. Um, and basically, I wanna talk you through um, the rig, which I'm using a lot at the moment. Um, I'm doing a fair little bit here and there on, on, um, on some of the club waters which I'll be honest, they're not the hardest. Some of them are not the hardest. You know, some of them have got really good stocks. This place does have a good stock of fish in it. Um, but they are really tuned into that pellet, which is good. Fished a couple of day tickets, um, which are actually not normally that, they're not normally hard, but they, they have been fishing really hard recently. Um, partly because of all this sort of coronavirus stuff, the amount of blokes I'm seeing on the bank is far more than I've ever seen before. So they're getting fed a lot more. So if there's more bait going in, you don't necessarily have to pick up your hook bait because they just there's so much food going in. So I'm just gonna put a hook bait on you quickly and then I'll just show you what I'm doing. Um, I'm a big fan of the spinner rig, as you know, some of you will know. I enjoy using the spinner rig, but some of these lakes, fish have been really finicky on the bait. So I've gone back to a rig really where, I don't know why I stopped using it to be honest, because I've caught so many on it. And it's that, uh, it's the KD rig, but it's fished muzzer style. So, um, what I've got there is just an out of the bag bottom bait. I drilled it out with a little piece of cork in there. Just take it really gently, you know, don't overdo it, just nice and slowly. A little bit of cork, a nice curved shank hook on there. Um, and then this piece of braid, this is the dark matter braid from Corda. Again, like 
it's, it sinks really well and I know that that's just going to sink perfectly and um, that's going to suck straight in. You know, I've been fishing pop-ups. Um, I have, you know, I've been fishing wafters as well. But the problem I've found is I think I think the fish are starting to suss some of this out in some of the waters because everyone's doing the same thing. Now, I don't see this very often. So everyone's putting bottom baits in. So why not have yours completely match the hatch? completely match what they're feeding on what they're confident on and if you're fishing a water regularly as well you're putting the same bait in all the time you know they're going to be switched onto it so that's the rig i'm on at the moment and again short um this one is just over five inches between five and five and a half inches i, I quite like them short especially fishing on the lead clip um i think I only use small leads as well, so they pick that up, they pick the lead up. Um, but what I'm also doing with my lead clip is I'm, I'm fishing it sort of semi bolt, bolt rig. So basically the fish picks it up, shakes their head, you get an absolute screaming take, and then the lead slides up the line, up the tube in, up the lead core, whichever setup I'm using at the time. Which means the fish thinks it's free, but it's not. Um, and that's done me a lot of bites recently. Um, just something a little bit different to what everyone else is doing. But that's the rig I'm on. Just fishing the KD rig, muzzer style. Very, you know, it's not an old rig, but it's, it's gone out of favour with a lot of people. But actually, you know, it's doing me a lot of bites at the moment. Um, yeah, so if you haven't tried it before, get on the muzzer. Look at that. You just know when they suck that in, that is going straight in the mouth. And that hook bait with a bit of cork just makes it a little bit lighter. A bit like the rest of the free offerings and sucks it in straight in. There we go. Get on the muzzer. So we're starting to lo lose the light now. So I'm going to start packing up. Um, but you've seen it. You've seen it, guys. The pellets work. Put them down the edge or put them out in a, in a PVA bag. Again, they work really, really well. A good high quality uh, pellet at a really good price as well you know just trying to help you guys catch more fish really so i'm going to end this video there uh, if you like this type of video if you see the first video you've ever seen of mine if it's the 70th video you've ever seen of mine and you haven't subscribed click that bow uh, bell no notification at the top um and then basically when I post a video, you'll be notified um, that there's a new video. If you're interested in the bait in particular as well, guys. So obviously at the moment I've got the high, um, the high oil pellets. But again, I've got other pellets in stock as well normally. Um, stock is very much hit and miss at the moment. I'm trying to sort that out. You know, it's being supported by some of you guys that are, you know, are buying it you know in good in large quantities means i've just got to keep keep getting bait in but i can it doesn't normally take long to get to get stuff in so if you're looking at any of the bait go onto the facebook page it's the ng fishing baits on there i'm updating all the time uploading um new baits that have come in when where, where i am with stock wise and then just message me through there if you're interested in any of any of the bait range so that's it i'm going to wrap it up hopefully pack up quickly before it absolutely chucks it down um but then until the next time guys uh, enjoy your fishing